What up, Hard Squad? Today we're opening more old and rare Pokemon card tins you may have never seen before. I'm very excited about this video because in the previous video, we pulled the one and only Charizard from a Diamond and Pearl Stormfront Booster Pack. If you have not seen that video, it will be on the front page of my channel. Please go watch it. But for today's video, you're seeing it. I brought them back because this has been not just the treat for myself, but you at home have been enjoying uh, seeing these types of tins open. Now, going a little extra above and beyond today, this tin, and it won't be just this one I'm opening up today, uh, it has something in it that I frankly, I want to find out. And yeah, I know I can just probably go other on YouTube to find out, but that doesn't count because we need to do it on this channel. And that is right here. It says it has one EX series booster pack in three diamond and pearl series booster packs it also has one of two foil cards what more can you want when opening up something like this so this is one of the tens i'll likely be opening i got another a riparier level x10 Ooh, look at mewtwo on the side oh they're battling anyway this also comes with one eek x EX series pack. I can't talk today. And then I likely will open up one more. I'm not sure which one it'll be just yet. It's depending on how the pulls goes for those. This is a very special tin, the Entei tin. Comes with a shiny Entei on the inside. This one just says four booster packs. I think I opened something like this, a for Alligator Prime one in the previous video, and it had like Heart gold soul silver packs on the inside so uh i don't know i don't think it's the same one of these because i don't have a suicune tin so that's something that i'll need to uh get but it could be something like this shame in level x tin this one i believe just has two diamond and pearl two platinum but we've already kind of opened up something like that and then this beautiful regigigas which i'll go ahead and say uh yeah it comes with the ex series pack I love the look of this tin and I love it even better, more sealed. So I'm probably gonna just keep that one. And then this one, which is the rarest of them all. I still don't know what I'm doing with this one yet. That's why it's imperative to consider subscribing to this channel. And also leave a like on this video if you've been enjoying myself opening up these older tins because look at the artwork on this guy. It's beautiful and simplistic at the same time. This one comes with the EX Deoxys pack, so I'm not opening that one up for today's video, but I probably will in the near future. But let's get started. I'll just put these like this, little old school background back there with the products. Uh, Heatran Level X. Sealed collectors, please look away. Then again, I collect more sealed products than actual cards, believe it or not. That's just a personal preference of mine. They just look beautiful sealed. What can I say? All right. 20 year old air. Just kidding. Oh my gosh. A Holland Phantoms pack. <laughs> no, not only is it an EX series pack, which are notoriously the most rare packs of them all. It's one of the most rarest EX series pack. Okay. Th okay. This is going to be good. Uh, we have to be careful though. By the way, it's not 20 year old air. It's like maybe a decade or more old. 15 years old? I don't know. Uh, let's be very careful. I'll reveal the packs, but this is what I'm talking about. Let's see if this is damaged at all. Well, the centering is abysmal from right to left. And there's a little whitening at the top, probably just from stacking in, but it's unfortunate. These type of Black Star promos are just incredibly difficult to get graded in perfect condition because of what you just saw. Uh, that's the chances you take. The population for these in PSA 10s and BGS 9.5 is just like astronomically low. But there it is. Heatran Level X. I will get a sleeve a Rooney for this thing. Are y'all ready to see the packs in this thing? A Holland Phantoms pack. Secret Wonders pack. This is a great set. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I should open up this Rhyperior one with these types of packs in here. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is insane. Um, wow. Please, please, please. 
leave likes on this video for these packs will all be opened up in today's video. Let's start with Mysterious Treasures, a little guy named Mag Mortar on the front. Uh, let's see what we can do in this first set. It's been so much fun opening up these older-ish types pack, not vintage. I would say the EX packs are, they're, not, they're still not vintage, they're just old. And then the vintage is like Wizards of the Coast, as you know. So that's kind of like the official lingo, but not, I guess you can say, for age. Cupitar, Mask Your Rain, baby. Lively, Blake Lively, Ryan Reynolds girl. Why? <laughs> Ryan, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Geodude, Chansey, Chansey's just a common, I'm sorry. Celio, it's the dealio. Scrambled eggs. Obama Snow, that is a reverse rare. Not bad, but nothing too crazy. And a Chimeco non-holographic. I know there's like a massive Chimeco fan. That's part of the Heart Squad. Uh, congratulations. We just pulled a Chimeco in honor of you. All right, so nothing too crazy with that one. Let's go with a very, very nice set, Diamond and Pearl Secret Wonders, and see if we can hit big, um, because the next two packs are really, really big. Three cards. Um, three cards, yeah, okay, we're good to go. Night Maintenance, Don Fan, Unknown Level 11, very cool looking Bulbasaur card, Nidoran Male, Scared Voltorb, Corsula, Centret. The reverse is a beautiful Pidgeot. Wow. Even the Pidgeot himself is shiny, but not as shiny as the reverse part. And a Sunflora non-holographic. That's okay. Pidgeot is still one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Yes, because of the show. And there it is. I'll take it. Now we're getting to the big stuff. Wow. What can I say as an encore to what happened in the video from a couple days ago? One Stormfront pack, one Charizard, which is a reprint of the Charizard from base set. Uh, that was magical. It was insane. And if you haven't seen it yet, please go see it. I'll probably put a link in the description, but that was, uh, that was so, that was incredible. Um, but let's see if we can get, not just replicate it, but get something else. Another secret rare Charmander or Charmillionaire from a very great set. Great ball, subconscious. Rovile. Luxury ball. They made Pokeball tins like that. Snover. Tangula. Machop. Duskull, Combi, Electrode, he's just an uncommon, and the rare is a Bronzong. Well, that was a little anticlimactic, but that's okay. We can't hit it in every single pack. But now to this pack, my friends. Wow, it's my favorite EX Holland Phantoms artwork other than the Mewtwo. Um, Gold Star? That would be insane. To imagine a gold star just been sitting in this tin for like 15 years. Incredible. Probably longer than that now, but let's see what we can do. There's only nine cards in this, so we really gotta sit back and enjoy every card. Nice balls. Hull and cast form. Energy balls. Combuskin. Torchic. That's a gold star in... Team Rocket Returns, I believe. No, not Team Rocket Returns. I'm sorry. What am I getting confused with? Wait, is it Team Rocket Returns? Yeah, I think it is, actually. Meowth. Psyduck. Anorith. Cute Fanpy. Ball Toy, just a common, but there's the little reverse logo. And a... Rayquaza! But a... Oh! What?! A MIGHTY ANA EX, WHAT?! WHAT?! WHAT IS HAPPENING RIGHT NOW?! IS THAT HOW THERE IS IN THESE SETS?! A Rayquaza non-holographic rare... AND THEN AN EX OUT OF NOWHERE! Wait, was this a- okay, wait, hold on. That may just be... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10! 
Was this an air pack? No way! Again? This is supposed to be nine additional cards. We just got a... Well, there's the balls again. We just got a reverse, non-holographic rare, and an EX. Is that even from this set? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, this is from 2006. Lord have mercy. We have done it again. An error pack from and let it be one of the rarest EX. Oh, this is insane. This is insane, guys. Mighty Yenna EX. So we had an error pack when we opened up a Neo Discovery pack and we pulled like the best holo from it. Espeon. Now we've done it again. May not be the best holo, or EX, excuse me, from, uh, Hull and Phantoms. But, uh, I completely just tossed to the side this Rayquaza. It's probably not worth that much, but still, the fact that we just did something like this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Uh, air. Sounds like I'm saying the word A-I-R, air, but it's error. Oh, man. Um, that was 110. Should we get, should we do that all again? Guys, please, please, please leave a like on this. Let's get the 20,000 likes for this insanity. Uh, let's, let's do it all over again. Rhyperior level X10. This one also comes with an EX series. Is it going to be the exact same packs? Let us let us, I thought I heard something. Let us see. This is even crazier now that I'm decided to open this up, knowing the packs on the inside are fantastic packs. <gasps> what is this? It's a Legends Awaken. Now we don't know the packs. This is just craziness left and right. Uh, let's make sure we get this out. Rhyperior level X. I like this one. It looks cooler than the other. And it's better centering too, but, and it's better conditioned too. Huh, a little whitening at the top right. I'll take it. This one's in much better condition. And we all of a sudden have different packs. Is this haven't been in focus for y'all? Sorry if it hasn't, but uh, Rhyperior Level X. I'm still in shock right now over what happened in this previous tin. Shall it happen again? But let's take a look at the pack. Uh, Legends Awaken. EX Power Keepers is the pack. So it's different for each one. Wow. Secret Wonders and a Mysterious Treasure. So, uh, that's really interesting. The packs aren't even close to as crazy as the ones that we just did, but there is a gold star chance in EX Power Keepers. Let's begin with Mysterious Treasures and our good old buddy Mag Mortar. Um, I'm sorry, I'm like, this stuff is just so much fun when this, uh, the craziness ensues on this channel. Uh, and you really, like, I don't even know what I open up every week. It's always gonna be different. I'm always trying to purchase crazy things to open for y'all, just to always keep on doing crazy openings. Nice bowl cut. Happeny. Sir Skit. Bronzor. Bidoof. Claymation Pichu. Nacho Libre, the reverse is a Snover and multi-energy. It's a beautiful looking card, but it is a non-holographic nonetheless. Let's go with Secret Wonders and see if we can finally hit in this specific series. Three cards and away we go. Venomoth with the Mize. Unknown level 16. Team Galactic's Mars. Is that like a no, that's the that's the the parent company that owns like Milky Way and stuff, right? Shroomish, very nice Squirtle in the Amazon rainforest. Centret, very cool Charmander. Fan P, deja vu. Centret again, and another Sunflora. So the exact same non-holographic rare from the previous one to this. Now, let's step it on up a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll wait to open up this one. Uh, let's go with this set, Diamond and Pearl Legends Awaken. Pack art's probably really, really cool. Um, 
in. We'd love to know your thoughts on what you think of the pack art, but three cards and away we go, right? Yeah, okay, wow. It's a mouthful. Swalot, Ninjask, Energy Pickup, Spoink, Cubone, The Bunny, Root Fossil, Ninkata, Unknown, sometimes they're rares, but not this time. Retire, huh, that's funny. And a Regice, non-holographic rare. Pretty cool, get some ice for that drink of beverage of y'alls. And then there was one, EX Power Keepers. Gold stars in the set, you know it. Let's see if we can uh, I doubt the error is going to happen again. I've never seen something like that before, so that was definitely uh, craziness. But let's see what we can do. Uh, two cards! It's supposed to be nine cards. Here we go. Matang. Combuskin. Cool looking Magnemite. Ready? Yeah, you all got to say it with me. Carvana na na na. Trap. Skitty. Shoop, there it is. Cradley is a reverse rare. That's nice, but not crazy. But not cradley. Okay. And a Sableye is the non holographic rare. Alrighty then, my friends, what an opening. I'm gonna do a whole nother opening up these tens, so please leave a like. Hope you enjoyed this, and if you want more openings, click on those videos right now. My name is Lean Art Stay Awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all next video.